Hello, my name is Lee and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about casting in Unreal Engine 4. So what is casting? Well, imagine this, the player walks up to a health pack and the health pack asks the player, hey, are you the player? Okay, so casting, you can sort of think of as asking something. It says, are you the player? And if the, re the player responds, yes, I'm the player, then I'm going to give you health. If the player responds, I'm not the player, then it's not going to do anything. Okay, so this is basically what it is in a nutshell it's just a way that two uh, blueprints can communicate with each other now with the example of creating health let's jump in and create this scenario so i'm going to right click i'm going to create a blueprint class and i'm going to choose actor and let's just call this health and we can open this up now i'm going to add a new component i'm going to choose static mesh once i've chosen that I'm going to go to the right hand side where it says static mesh. I'm going to choose the simple cube. I'm going to decrease the size here from 1 to 0.5 on X, Y, and Z. I'm going to press save. Now, also, I need to scroll down. And under the collision, I'm going to choose the option that says overlap all, which basically means that any actor can overlap with this object or they're going to pass through. And I'm going to choose this option that says on component begin overlap. And I'm going to press save. Now I can close this for a moment and let's jump into the player. I'm going to right click on the player and choose browse to asset. I'm going to open this up. Now in here, we need to create two variables. One is for the health and one is for the health increase. So let's go to new variable, variable and call this health. We're going to create a second variable. I'm going to call this add health now we need to save this so we can compile those variables and change their types so let's take take the first one and we're going to change this to a float and let's take the second one and we're going to also change this to a float now compile this again and we can change the values of these new variables now in the health i'm going to start off with perhaps 50 percent health and for the add health i'm going to say every time the player walks into the health kit, I'm going to give them 10% extra health. Let's press save and close this. Now let's click and drag our blueprint into the scene here so we can interact with it. And let's press play. So right now, if I walk up to this cube, you can see nothing actually happens. The only thing that's happening is I can pass through the cube. And that's because I set this um, collision to overlap. So let's open up the cube and look at how to set this up. So on our begin overlap, we can see that we have some options. And the one we're looking for here is the one that says other actor. Other actor meaning anything other than the health actor. So if some other actor passes through this, what do we want to do? Well, what we want to do is we want to check to see if it is the player. The way we can do that is we can type in cast to, and then we can cast to the name of the other actor. In this particular case, we're looking for the third person character. Okay, so what we've done here is um, the cube, the health can accept an overlap from any actor. Now, what it's done though, is it says, hey, listen, are you the third person character? And if you are the third person character, then let's do something. So let's type a, let's create a print string, right? And in the string, let's type in is player. So this very simple example says that, as I said, hey, something is overlapped this, are you the player? And if you are the player, I'm gonna print this string that says is player. Now let's save this and let's press play and see what happens. So if we have a look at the very top left-hand corner, if I move through here, you can see is player. So it is true, okay, I am the player. Let's go back over here. Now, because we are the player, we can now access the values or the variables in which we have stored within the player. And this can be seen here, as it says, as third person character. So if we were to click and drag out and type in get health, okay, so we want to get the value of the health and we put this into the print string instead. Now, when we run through the health, what we're actually going to do is print out the value of the health. In this particular case, you can see it is 50. 
So as I move through, we can see 15. Okay, great. Now we also had the other value and the other value was add. So we need to type in get add health. And let's delete this for a moment and move this all the way over here. So now we've got these two values. We have the health and we have the add health. Well, what we want to do is we want to say, hey, has, are you the player? Yes, I'm the player. Well, if you're the player, I'm going to add 10% to your health. So we can take the target, which is the health, and we can type in float plus float, meaning that we want to add these two values together. So let's choose float plus float, and we want to add 10% to the health. Now, once we've done that, we need to set the health to the new value. So we can simply click off here and type in set health. And we need to uncheck this context sensitive menu and press set health. Then we can plug this in here. Now you can see that we also have the target. What is the target? Well, the target is the player character, right? Cause we want to set the new health to the player character. So we click from the target and drag over here to the um, cast two, and we can output this as a print string and print off the actual string. Now what you'll see is that every time the player passes through the box or the, the health, we're going to see an increase in health. So let's just wait for this message to disappear in the top left. Okay, so now we can see it's 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and so on and so forth. So that is the uh, concept of using cast in Unreal Engine. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like. And until next time, thank you for watching and bye-bye.